as an artist, you have to be really brutal with yourself when it comes to your work. You have to know, you have to sort of separate the wheat and the chaff in, in your particular work. So you have to know when you've gone too far, when you haven't gone far enough. And that entails you being cruel to yourself sometimes. Welcome to another edition of The Art of Individuality by Glenn Friedrich, a content series on 10 and 5 where we explore amazing creative individuals, creative mavericks. Today on set we've got Nakane Ture, who is an award-winning Sama songwriter, singer-songwriter. Um, you've just signed um, with B BMG, uh, you've got a debut novel coming out. Yeah. Nakane, welcome to The Art of Individuality. Thank you for having me. It's lovely to have you here. So, Nakane, tell us, when was the first time that you realized that you were kind of making it, that you were successful? It was when I got signed to Just Music about two and a half years ago. That for me was sort of a confirmation that I've been doing something almost right, because they were the label, that, the only label that I wanted to sign with, because they were independent, um, they had a great catalog, and they liked my music, and they never told me to change anything about it. So you've just signed to BMG. BMG uh, France, yeah. Quite a big, quite a big deal. Yeah. Um, you, you're releasing a debut novel yeah. as well. You sing a songwriter on the one side, a novelist on the other side. How important is it to have this cross creative discipline? I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an individual thing. You know, where some people are, some people are good at focusing on one thing, and other people are much easier at sort of spreading themselves. Hopefully, you don't spread yourself too thin. But I, I remember once, I think I was about 12, and my aunt and Lloyd asked me what I want to be when I grow up, and I said, artist. And she said, okay, cool, but what kind? I said, whichever one comes first. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it just happened to be music. Um, I, stu I, stu I studied literature adverts because I always wanted to be a writer. And on some level, that sort of worked itself into the music as well with lyrical writing, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how important it is for other artists, but for me, I was equal, I'm equally as passionate in writing as I am in music and other private stuff that I do. Yeah. You know. um, what are your goals going forward? What's the next big thing for you? Where are you setting your sights on? With all these new prospects, with um, international prospects, I am trying to sort of set the goalposts a little bit further and further. But at this point in time, I don't <clears throat> it's interesting. I try not to look too far ahead in the future because I think it clouds your judgment about what you're doing at the present. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time in my life, I am working very hard at being good at what I'm doing now so that mm -hmm. when other more when other things happen in the future, then I'm more prepared. Mm. But I, I, I intend to write more great songs and hopefully more good novels. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about collaboration and working with other people. Um, you've got, in, you, you've established yourself as, as, a, as a kind of entity. Um, how often do you, <laughs> well, how, how much do you work with other people in the process? With my first album, I worked alone. I wrote alone, I write alone. But when we started recording the album, I collaborated with Matthew Fink, who's a producer, who helped me actually um, see things in my music that I'd never seen before. Mm -hmm. So that collaboration was an eye opener. Mm -hmm. But now I've just actually collaborated and co-wrote a song with Black Coffee, which should be out oh, in a yeah. couple of months, which opened my eyes again to new possibilities, you know. But you know, it's mostly, the, my work is so personal that with my own body of work that it needs some sort of solitude and some, you know, being alone yeah. to, to, to make. Mm. But then to, I would say, zoning it in and zooming, it, and zooming into the work and, finding, and fine tuning it, mm. I, I've realized that it, it helps to have someone who has a better understanding about that in music, collaborate, uh, in, I mean, in music, a um, producer, and in writing, an editor. Yeah. You know? And uh, what you mentioned now about making is so important. We were, we've been discussing quite a bit um, 
on the, the kind of learning through making yeah. um, and kind of getting to a final product yeah. through the process of <clears throat> of making something. Yeah. Um, and it's you kind of need to have set time away that you go like, cool world, it's just me now. There's nothing else happening around me. Let me focus on my craft. I actually did that for about three weeks. I went away um, because, I, because I'd been writing my novel for, for so many years. I would write and then leave it and then write and then leave it and then the, and the music happened. I didn't write for about a year and a half or two years or so. Um, and so you have this idea in your mind of what this work is. Mm. And then you have a timeline. You, you sign a deal with the, with the, with the publisher and we, you decide together that you want to publish it at a certain time. And so you read it again and then you think, huh. This is not as good as I thought it was. Yeah. I mean, personally. Yeah. I mean, they were like, "Yo, this is great," or whatever. But I, for me personally, because I started writing it at like 20, and I'm 27 now, so much has changed. My yeah. writing style has changed. So what I did was I took time off, and I went to East London to my uncle's house, to literally restart the novel. Yeah. You know, the positioning, the construction, the characters. Editing myself, you know, being brutal with myself. I think you need that with, yeah. as an artist, as a music, any kind of art. I think you, you need to be able to separate the wheat from the chaff in your work. Mm. So I went away for a week to East London and I started with novel, and I thought it was going to be easy. I thought it was going to be a cut and paste thing, but I realized that it was actually a completely new work to the point where I even changed the novel name. The, yeah. no, the novel is going to be called "To Whom Shall We Go." Now it's been changed to <laughs> "Piggy Boys Blues." Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, so anyway, I spent a week in East London, I came back and I wasn't finished. So I went to Narok Sculpture Park, yep. uh, which gave me an art, two weeks at an art residency, okay. where I literally worked around the clock to finish this piece of work. Yep. It helped me a lot, because I could work any time I want, and I think, I think, art, I think artists need that sometimes. Mm. Nakani, thank you very much for joining us on The Art of Individuality. It's, been great, for me. it's been great to have you here. Um, and we look forward to seeing the rest of your work. Thank you very much.